You're tuned to your number one station, Galway Bay FM. Gary Kelly with you on this Monday night. Now, there's a great feast of Irish albums coming out lately with the likes of Mundy and Julie Feeney. But one of the albums that I've been listening to all week long in the car is a brand new album from a girl from Dublin called Imelda May. The album is called Love to Two, and I highly recommend it. Uh, you might have seen her recently on a Pat Kenny's final Late Late Show. Well, I'm delighted to be joined now on the line by Imelda. Imelda, congratulations on your new album. Thank you very much. Tell us the disappointing thing. You're actually, you have a ring on your finger now. Oh, I have, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, does he play in the band with you? Yeah, he's the guitarist in the band. Brilliant. On the album, there's a lot of piano featuring, but most of your live sets, you actually don't have a piano. Yeah, that's right. Is there a particular reason why you've left out the piano? Um, bit by bit, it was just the way it happened, because I was doing support with different people and uh, with, you know, Jules Holland and then I was asked to do the Van Morrison or whatever. When you're doing the support, you have to. You, you can't bring your full band because they can't fit full pianos and stuff in front of the band that's already set up. So you have to strip it down um, in order to do the gigs that you're doing. And I just preferred the sound of it that way. It seems to be more directional as well. Where where before I liked the mixture of the jazz and the blues and the rock really, but I, I I thought I needed a little bit of a you know gutsier feeling to it. So the guitar is more predominant in it now it just, I just preferred it it seemed to work better and easier and, and that's the way it worked out so the next album which was just finished recording there's no piano on it and uh, except for one that I've asked Jules Holland to play on and he I was delighted when he said he would so just recorded that last week he put his piano down on one of the songs So, so you have another album on the way very soon Yeah uh, September, October Brilliant Excellent mm. How has your lifestyle changed over the last couple of years? Just busier and busier other than that, it's not changed at all, really. Just uh, busier on the road and to spend less time at home yeah. and more in the car. <laughs> <laughs> do you still get to cook your own meals and do the, the housework, or is that kind of put aside these days for life on the road? <laughs> I don't have to cook uh, cook my own meals and do the housework when I'm on the road because I'm, I'm not at home, but I do when I'm at home. <laughs> You've uh, played in Galway a, a few times as well, which is great. How do you find um, a Galway audience compared to an audience in the UK? Mentler. Right. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a compliment. Yeah, they're all mad. It's great. I love it. And they have a lot of family living in Galway. So um, they all come along and the Flins and uh, they dream and cheer and all. So that's great. And I get to see them as well. Yeah, your family in Galway. So before you were up on stage playing... Uh, mm. Did you ever come over to the west of Ireland when you were younger on summer holidays or anything? Oh, always, always. We were in Salt Hill and, like I said, over at the Flins and the Clabbies. So I'm, I was a Clabby before I got married and um, yeah, we'd be over with, with them and gangs of us in cars and spilling out onto the beach, you know. So, yeah, spent a lot of time in Galway. Mm. I love it. Great. Big single that you have at the moment is, well, which is kind of out on radio, is Big Bad Handsome Man. Do you intend to release any other singles from uh, the current album Love to Two? Oh, good question. Um, I was hoping to release um, Falling in Love with You Again. That's what, I, that's what personally I would like to release as a single from that before the next album comes out, but I don't know if I can. Well, it, it, if it makes any difference, it's actually one of my personal favourite songs on the album. Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. That and Knock 1, 2, 3. Th- those two songs I just absolutely love. Oh, good, good. Glad you enjoyed it. You were playing recently in Galway on uh, just last Thursday, the 11th of uh, June, and you were mm. playing Roisin Dove back in March. Do you intend okay. to be coming back for any uh, festivals or uh, upcoming gigs again, maybe towards Christmas? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to plan uh, another tour as well after the release of the next album. Um, so we'll be travelling around. I don't know where the dates are just yet, but if anybody wants to have a look on the website, you know, it'll be all on there. So it'll be on there probably before I know about it even. <laughs> but we're doing a lot of the festivals, Oxygen, and we'll be doing loads of them. So I, we just did a festival over on Inish Boston a little while ago and that was absolutely brilliant I really loved it loved it over there have to go back brilliant someone said to me a few days ago and I started laughing I don't know what your reaction would be when they heard uh, some of your music that I was playing in the car they said oh she reminds me of Amy Winehouse oh yeah <laughs> yeah I've heard that one <laughs> yeah I don't think it's quite true though no thanks for that <laughs> yeah no, I, I think you're completely different I think I, I'm uh, I have a happier life. Thank God yeah, for that. Yeah, exactly. Touch wood. 
I was amazed when I heard your album there a couple of months ago and there was a guy here in work, Jimmy Higgins, who himself plays trumpet and was part of the show band era years ago, who was uh, tell, telling everyone in the station about what a great album Love to Two was and oh, everyone should get a hold of it. What I loved about it is it was a very unusual sort of album to come out. I mean, you wouldn't associate it with your typical Irish artist, very universal, but I think most of the time these days people really listen to singles and we get singles off iTunes rather than listen to an album within itself and uh, you know it's terrible to say but at times usually it's just maybe three or four singles from an album is just worth listening to and I'm not saying it because you're just here talking to me at the moment I honestly I think just the album itself is just a beautiful collection of songs Oh thanks very much for that that's really really nice of you to say Thanks very much. You work hard like like at anything else you do, you know, and I've, I've done a variety of jobs from cleaning and working in the laundrette and the nursing home and everything to make ends meet. And whatever it is you do, you just try and do your best at whatever that is, you know. So um, I'm, I, I just did my best with the songs and the lads did their best with, with playing their instruments and, and tried to get the best sound we could. And we hadn't got much time or much money in the studio, so I'm... Delighted and very flattered that you think that, so, so well, thanks very much for not, that. Not at all, well you did the work. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Imelda, I mean you had a huge uh, kind of background of stories and changes of lifestyles that kind of would have helped you write in these various 12 songs or so that are on the album. But with mm. regards to the new album now, which will be coming out in September, mm. it's a shorter amount of time. Yeah, they say that you've like two years to write your first album and two months to write your second to the gate they're on to get it done, you know. Well, uh, Amelda, I'm really looking forward to your new album in September. Um, absolutely loving your new album at the moment, Love to Two. You're an absolute breath of fresh air. Ah, uh, thanks very much. It's it's a real treat, uh, and sometimes people don't understand it, but it is a real treat when you actually, because there's so many albums that we get in that we have to listen to, but when you mm. can actually listen to an album non-stop, in a car mm. and it just fulfills you it's just ah, it's brilliant. amazing brilliant that's great that's great and I'm, I'm sure you have to listen to a lot but I mean it's great that you do because there's so much music out there that's fantastic and it's hard for bands to get a break and uh, I've been doing it myself for years as are most of in the band and you send things off to people and they don't actually listen to them at all I know yeah. um, you know I've been knocking on doors for quite a while and they were all closing and every, you know most people were turning it down and uh, fair play to the likes of yourself for playing the record on on radio stations and punters, you know, and people listening reacted. So that's what, what starts the ball rolling, really. But but to yourself, fair play to you for listening to albums. Not at all. Albums that, that I sent in, because a lot of people don't bother. Some fantastic bands in Ireland at the moment. But, you know, we're hearing them, but you're not hearing them on the radio yet. Hopefully you will do, but True. it's great that people are taking it into their own hands to know what they like, basically, or not like, you know. Yeah, I have noticed a trend as well over the last uh, year or so that people are voting with their feet. A lot of people, whether songs by new and upcoming Irish bands mm. aren't being playlisted on radios, that mm. people are turning up to the gigs and people are aware yeah, of them yeah. and they're going out supporting them and it's great. It's, it's a case now the radio stations sort of changing their attitude and getting less, mm. I suppose, uh, commercial from American music and mo- getting more support behind Irish music. That's right. And, and for yourself, it must be more exciting for you to get people ringing in asking for certain songs and you can play them the whole thing of the playlist is quite a weird concept really that you know you have to apply to get onto it and we'd be holding our breath wondering will we get on it at all and and if you don't then it makes it difficult for us to be played it makes it difficult for you to be allowed to play yeah. it seems quite weird <laughs> so it must be more exciting for you just to be able to play what you want and play what your listeners want and and that way music just if people like it they they get to hear it and like you said, it's right the way people can find out, you know, or support their bands as if they just turn up to the gigs, regardless of whether big shot industry people have said they should like it or not. Yeah. Um, it's great that people just vote by using their feet, as you said, yeah, it's great. It's exactly, and we're blessed as well to have the Russian Dove here in Galway because it's a great venue. Brilliant place, yeah. Great venue for supporting Irish artists. Yeah, I loved it there, great fun. Imelda, listen, thanks a million for your time. and uh, No problem at all. Nice I'm, to talk to you. I'm going to go out with my favourite song from your album, Love to Two, Falling in Love with You uh, Again. Thanks very much. Take care.